Last time on Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. Ah, Shishiro! Alright, let's do it, Shishiro! The only thing I want to get is the two of you begging for your lives. Woo! Woo! And... You're done, son! He killed him. How about a vacation? All by yourself. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. Something Yumi said once. She wanted to get married there. Oh. That 50 billion included a bodyguard fee, didn't it? We're much obliged. <laughs> Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to the final episode of Like a Dragon Gaiden. The man who erased his name. So, yeah, we, uh, we gonna go kick some ass. Time for the Great Disillusion to take place. Uh, okay, I was like... I was like, there's a rest thing here, okay. Be advised, your consecutive battles take place until the game is finished. If you need it, now is the time to replenish items. I already did that, okay. I should rest for now. Been waiting for you. The boss should be here soon. He's on his way from the joint. In a different time, we'd have rolled out the red carpet. But meeting at the prison's a no-go. Doesn't matter if you're captain of the Omi anymore. Yeah, I know. I bet. You did ten years, didn't you? For killing your boss, no less. Us smashing up the Omi today ain't so different, is it? What gives, Shishido? You scared all of a sudden? Those decades of Yakuza families. All that history. And we're gonna tear it all down. Ain't you nervous, Captain? Maybe a bit. But my mind's made up. And you'd better watch yourself. Don't say stupid shit like that round the boss. Of course. Welcome back, boss. Thanks. Thank you for all you've done for us. I could say the same. Haven't changed a bit, boss. Welcome back. Serino. Shishido. You two did good. See, you brought a dragon back from the dead. Couldn't have been easy. <laughs> Masaru Watase, Omi Alliance captain. Oh. Sure wasn't. But 50 billion goes a long way. The Daidoji were willing to let out his leash. Thanks for coming, Kiryuhan. Guess I'm not the only one in a tough spot here. You know how much cash I ran through to find you? You're already talking about money? Man, I knew it was more about ideals. Ah, big talk coming from a dead man. None of it ever made any goddamn sense, did it? The dragon of Dojima died, but no one saw the body. We'll be dumb enough to fall for that shit. Fooled everyone but you. Only one you're fooling is yourself. Anyway, forget all that. We got a big event today, and I can't pull it off without you. This is the day the Yakuza end. Yeah. Making a big move. You and Daigo both. We didn't choose this. The times forced us to. Politicians, cops, they treat us like we ain't even people. Then justify it with one bullshit law or another. Only future we got as Yakuza is as lapdogs or underground thugs. Seems that way. But we can still make ourselves a third option. We dissolve the groups and get as many of the Yakuza as we can into our safety net. The longer we wait, the less we can do. Yep. And more and more Yakuza will fall by the wayside. Truthfully, I can't say if that's the right choice. I'm hardly qualified to. But either way, 
You're putting your lives on the line to do this. That's reason enough for me to help. Look, I realize you got Daijoji breathing down your neck. But putting two giants like Omi and Tojo to rest didn't take living legends. <laughs> and a dead one, I suppose. I'm counting on you, Kiryuan. Boss, do you have the letter of dissolution? Huh? This is a historic moment. How about I get you in a badass pose holding the paperwork? Hey, quit screwing around. Oh, come on. Everybody's snapping pics these days. Right, you son Whoa, 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 knock it off. The fuck's wrong with you? The captain of the Omi Alliance, conspiring with the supposedly dead former fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Plotting to betray his family and disband the Omi? He's got the Declaration of Dissolution addressed to the police right there in his pocket. I get it. You're against all this. Shishido. Oh, no. Omi, new or old, see this video right here? Rank be damned, they'll kill you. On top of that, they'll see it was me who exposed you. I'll be the goddamn hero. What are you saying? To start, I'll be taking over the Watase family. <laughs> Already had the groundwork laid. Wow. What? All of you? <sighs> so the Patriarch and the Captain weren't with us. No shit that'd have everyone turned on you. You were so busy licking Watase's boots. You forgot about everyone else under you. Just means you didn't have the damn balls. And you think you're any different? I know my place in the world. I'll take it step by step. Patriarch will be the first for me. Then it'll be the top of the Omi Alliance. That's some pretty big talk there. I wasn't raised that great, you know. When I could take my shot, I make sure I put my life on it. Two long years. I've been waiting for this. To expose the Omi Alliance's greatest threat. You backstabbing rat fucks! So you were against us all this fucking time. Asshole. You two turned on us first. Turned your back on us! <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I'm back. You all miss me, right? Nishitani. Kazuma Kiryu. Emasaru Watase. You're both dead as fuck. You wrinkly ass traitors! Hmm. <laughs> Patriarch Nishitani, you're supposed to be... I'm the one who killed him. Remember? Kiryu-san was there, but I had my back to him. He couldn't see a thing. So I just pretended to stab him with a little toy that spurts blood. Had a rescue team nearby and everything. All went according to plan. Well made, unlike yours. But why, Shishido? Don't you hate Nishitani, too? How could you? You're not wrong. Patriarch Nishitani's had me under his thumb forever. It's been a living hell for years on end. And you're the one who saved my ass, Captain. So this is how you repay the favor? <laughs> you know, I was a good-for-nothing little shit as a kid. But now... I strut around this fucking town, head high. Out having those glitzy nights I always dreamed about. And once I knuckled up and stood on the winning side, I learned. There ain't nothing better than having the run of somebody. Cause you're stronger than them, and they're piss scared of you. Ha! Damn you. A full belly, clothes on my back, women in my bed. Maybe you think all that was a gift from you. What? 
but you'd be fucking wrong. I'm the one who clawed my way up from nothing. You just gave me a little boost in the home stretch. God, getting ordered around by a smug asshole like you. So sure his shit don't stink. I can't count how many times I've wanted to strangle you. I don't know how I managed not to. I don't owe you a goddamn thing. Everything I got, I got because I fought and won and took it my own fucking self. And you're planning to do what again? Break up the group? Dissolve the Omi Alliance? Fuck out of here with that. You go senile and lock up or something, you dickless piece of shit. Shishido. But, while you all were flipping your shit over your little conspiracy, I still didn't have any proof. That's why I held on till the time was right. Even with proof, I'm not an idiot of your caliber. I know I can't rebuild the Omi alone. You gotta show people a vision for the future, or else nobody will follow you. But with the Kijin clan at my back, everything's taken care of. After I saved Patriarch Nishitani from the fire, I laid all my cards on the table for him. How Kazuma Kiryu survived, about the plot to dissolve the Omi Alliance and the Tojo clan. A shocking betrayal. An unforgivable conspiracy. Isn't that right, Watase Anaki? You recognize what I had back then? Didn't even care that I just left the Chingon Mafia, did you? Power is all that matters. Hey, you showed those weren't empty words. I figured you for a real man's man. So I didn't mind getting my hands dirty for you. Who do you have to thank for that squeaky clean image of yours, huh? And now you throw me to the wolves because I'm in the way of your scheme? Kill him? Get rid of him? Sounds damn crazy, right? No, I'm the one who ordered you to be killed. Shut your fucking mouth, Cyrano! Hawking's not going to save you. Hmm. Tasayanaki here betrayed me. Just like he betrayed the Omi Alliance. You know how much that stings for us? You got any idea? But you, Shishida, you've gone above and beyond. What a guy. Love ya. If you all don't want the Omi Alliance, then we'll take it for ourselves. What was that about bootlicking earlier? Looks like you're happy to do just the same. Damn right. And look what that lick bought me. You should have brought more guys. Thank you, Frank Kiryuhan. I wasn't expecting this. Squaring off against the Watasi family and Kijin both? Who'd have figured? Here I thought the worst fit would be at Omi HQ. Yeah, me too. So, if you lost your edge in the joint, we're done for. Yeah, and that tell you been planning this day for years? I ain't gone soft even a little. Can't speak for you, though. Well, that gives me a bit of hope. What about you, Suno? Huh? Me? I get to fight with a couple of legends. You think I'd pass up being part of that trio? Fact is, I'm so fucking mad right now, you couldn't stop me if you tried. Perfect. Shishido, your plan may have been years in the making. But you missed one major detail. Yeah? What do you think will happen if you don't kill us here and now? You'd have to start all over again, wouldn't you? You think you have enough manpower to take us down? Now here's a moment worth saving. Shoot another video, now. Show everyone in the Omni Alliance what we're made of. Hell yes! Get rid of these relics! The new Omi Alliance begins now! Kill them all! <laughs> Let's go! I admit I didn't expect this, but uh, this is going to be easy. Ha <laughs> ha Woo! Come on! What 
happened to all that confidence? Where did it go? Gotta get over there. Spoderman! Grace to the Nishitani name. Nishitani, we I, I finally remembered. I was like, that name seems so familiar, and now I remember. He was uh, the guy who inspired Majima. guys I went out partying with. Oh well. Can't do nothing about it now. Fuck you. She shit Come on. I ain't scared of you. You ain't nothing. Appreciate the time. Got a warm up thanks to you. Sorry to break it to you like this, but the show's gotta go on. Uh, I ain't finished with you, fucker! The phone. Sorry about your precious scoop there. Yeah. No, sir, no.
let you betray us. How could you attack me? Sorry about that, but I can't be dying today. Shut your mouth! More of them. Wait. Figured you needed a hand, so I made sure to step on it here. <laughs> Perhaps I may have gone a little overboard. No, Hanua, I love you, man. Hanua, what are you doing here? What about me? Akame's been giving us info on Sotenbori lately. She's got her fingers in every pie in this city, so to speak. And today, she got a tip that someone resembling Nishitani was spotted around town. Dead man walking. Yep, just a little bit ago. I worried I may be imposing. But I decided to check in on you anyway. Limo and all. Hm. Didn't want to show up empty-handed. Can't have the Omi captain riding in anything less. Have a new suit, Joryu. You're covered in blood, you know. You've got some thoughtful friends. You're telling me. Hey, I got something for you too, boss. I guess I won't have a chance to rest this gut of mine. Didn't I tell you? This is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might sting a little, but it'll hide the cuts. Wouldn't be a good look for breaking up the Omi. They'd think your own guard dog bit you. I don't need salt rubbed in with the makeup. I get the picture. The bleeding on your belly stopped, but that's all. Try to move as little as possible, all right? Shit! Ah, oh, that's smart! You'll need some rest soon, Osan. If you can't even walk, then I'm afraid there's not much else you can do. Fuck off! The boss is the one who got gut shanked, and I worked hard as hell for a long time to make this day a reality. I ain't about to split right when things get good. Good grief. How can you stick your neck out so far for those above you? The Yakuza lifestyle is alien to me. He's a rare sort these days. So, what do we do about Nishitani? Don't worry. Someone from Daidoji will be around to pick him up soon. We should be leaving shortly. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Watase-san's scarless makeover is complete. You guys can head to Omi HQ now. I'll say goodbye to you here. Huh? What's up, Joryu? When we first met, I never imagined you'd end up doing so much for me. Thank you, Akame. I really mean it. Hmm. Huh? Why are you making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again? <laughs> Sorry. Guess I sounded pretty serious. Well, listen up, Joryu. I'm gonna have work for you when you get back. I'll be counting on you. Sure thing. <laughs> now we're finally back on track. Oh. Not exactly. I counted Shishido on my side, but now he's gone and I got a knife to the gut. Sarno's got a banged up leg, too. That may be, but at least you're being chauffeured in a limousine. The Omi captain shouldn't bellyache so much. Though I suppose you've been stabbed there. Hey, shut your goddamn mouth already! This ain't the time to be flapping your fucking lips like usual. Guys, come on. I'm the one sitting here with all this shit speckled on my face. I gotta stand tall once we get to HQ. Give me a break for now, will you? Ah, <sighs> whatever you say. How much further, Hanawa? About 10 minutes. That means in 15, the Omi Tojo dissolution will have been declared. I'm about to light a powder keg loaded with who the hell knows what. Right. And the role you play may be the most important one of all. You're reading the Yakuza its last rites. And you know as well as I do, you're the only one who can pull that off. Do declarations of dissolution even exist? They do now. Got one right here. Feels like I wrote out my last will and testament. Probably similar enough. No one can say what comes next. Best be ready for the worst. Hmm. It really is quite the sight. Being greeted by the young leaders of the Alliance like this. So, these are the folks you're breaking the bad news to? Ah, uh, shut up already. Mutase, how's your wound holding up? 
Oh, it's only the worst pain I've ever felt. I try to keep a straight face. I'll protect you with my life. No one will lay a finger on you. Uh, knock it off. You damn charmer. <laughs> This is where I make my exit. I hope it all goes well for you. We've been through some shit, haven't we? I owe you a thanks, Hano. Show you. Don't forget, you're still a Daidoji man. It's imperative you come back in one piece. Right. <laughs> document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? Daigo. There he is. I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? I think it's time. Let's do it. As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Watase san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. I just want to say, they changed his voice actor from, uh, uh, seven to here. I don't know why. Like, uh, he was voiced by Roger Craig Smith, um, before, who was, like, uh, pr pretty well known as, like, uh, Ezio Auditore and, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, of all things. But, um, I don't know why they changed it up. Maybe they had new voice lines and Roger was busy. Like, uh, you know, like, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. This decision was ratified by the Omi chairman. Captain Watase, and acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? Fuck you, Watase! You're a goddamn traitor! Saejima. I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? <laughs> Majima san. We're gonna march this declaration down to Osaka PD. I know, most of you are none too happy about it. So listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you'll have to stop me by force. <laughs> Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. So that's him. Masumi Arakawa. Sure is. This kind of brawl. Most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. 
You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. Things are about to get real spicy. <laughs> and it's funny because, you know, Tendo ends up being, like, the final boss of, uh, like, you know, like, Yakuza 7. But, like, I have to admit, in that moment, it was badass that he stepped over the line to help us out. Sure, it was all to serve his own ends, but still, it, it's a badass moment. Hey, see that scraggly fella next to Tendo over there? He's that Kasuga guy I was talking about. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Shit. Let's make it one to remember! That's our cue. Right. They've all got eyes on Watase and Daigo. We need to protect them. Damn it. This is gone far enough. Watch us Oh shit! What's I'll say? And this was the part we saw in, in the other game. Yep, that's where he comes in! What the? <laughs> I knew you weren't really gone. So he's finally back. The dragon of Dojima. Wutsase, how did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just an extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. <laughs> Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back even if it costs me my life. Ah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you sure know how to make an entrance. God damn, seriously? Share the spotlight, would you, Kiryu san? A dragonfish. All right. Time for seconds. This feast ain't over till it's over. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> Of course there'd be more. More enemies are coming in from over there. Seems like there's no end to it. I'll give him a taste of my fists. Yeah! What I like is that Kiryu... What I love about Kiryu is that he knows how strong he is. He doesn't flaunt it, but he knows, like, he has, like, confidence that he won't lose. Kiryu is strongest when he's fighting for a cause. And right now, he's fighting to make the world a better place. It's the end of an era, the end of the Yakuza. 
that's why I think, you know, like, I mean, it was like, you know, in Japanese, the game series was always called Like a Dragon, yes. But I think the reason they, like, one of the reasons they officially decided to switch over to calling it Like a Dragon instead of, you know, Yakuza is because Yakuza are gone. There's no longer Yakuza. Yay! <laughs> Is that all of them? Nice. We did it. <laughs> Kiryu-san. Don't take this the wrong way, Dojima-san. It's just that my bodyguard, well, he's not anybody whose name you would know. You might be thinking he looks real damn familiar, but it ain't him. Hold on. I hired him from a temple called Dido something or other, I think it was. That's all I got. Puzzle it out for yourself. Yeah, he can't get involved. Understood. And he knows that. Mm. Well, we're done here. Let's go. Mm. Everyone, come this way. I think Kiryu was impressed with Kasuga. <laughs> Good luck out there, Kasuga. You're gonna do great. And that was way, way easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> kind of a letdown, huh? You say that, but this shit's exhausting. Felt like I'd lose my damn lunch. <laughs> Still, I guess this really is the end, huh? The Omi and the Tojo are done like dinner. Ah, smell you later, guys. Oh, I know. How about a party to celebrate, huh? Could really go for some tripe right about now. Of course, we can't forget to bring Mr. Bodyguard along. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, come on, just a few drinks. You know, I never bought it. The whole thing about you dying and all was a load of bullshit. Kill you, Chun. Yay! You've got the wrong guy. Sorry, but I've never met you. The hell? Look me in the eye and tell me you expect me to keep playing along with this shit. I'm not asking you to do anything for me. You can move on and forget about it once I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll go along with your little charade for now, okay? So no leaving. My heart can't take it. Oh, yay! <laughs> they were the best of friends. Huh? What's that? Oh, is it Shishido? Of course it is. Late. Shishido. You're still standing. If Luke's could kill, we'd be in trouble about now. So he hasn't learned his lesson. Guess it's on me to teach it. Hey. You didn't finish the job? Why not, you got soft? That or is one hell of a cockroach. You're not getting off that easy. Not while I'm still sucking air. If you want to fuck with the Omi Alliance, I'm pushing back till I'm dead in the ground. It's over, Shishido. Cut the crap. This is freaking pathetic, man. You stay the fuck out of the way, traitor. Shishido. Cornered animal at this point. Don't look like he's got anything left to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck off me! Is that the best you got? Look at me. 
I'm still kicking assholes. And not just me. The whole Omi Alliance. Ain't that right? <laughs> Stubborn shit like this here. That's what the Omi was best at. What's up, they son? You're hurt. Boss! I guess before we go to the cops, I gotta change again, huh? Now listen here! If we don't kill these bastards right now, the Yakuza are done for good. You okay being crushed by rats? Dying on the ground? With all the pride of a soggy goddamn napkin? Don't forget who you are! The Omi fucking Alliance! Yeah! Yeah! Ah, Shishido. Sad. He could have made something of himself outside of the Yakuza, but he just couldn't see it. Strength and terror. That's how you dominate. Show these cowards some real Yakuza! God damn it. We need to shut him up. It's fine. Well, let him go all the way. Hey! They're still in the garden! It's time! Get moving! Kill these shitbird traitors! For years they've been scheming behind all our backs to make this happen. Creeping in the shadows, pulling the strings, making us prance around like they're little puppets. Fuck that shit! Don't try to tell me. Any one of you is okay with that. We're gonna be right with They can take their dissolution and stick it up their motherfucking asses! Don't forget about those Tojo pricks, neither. Anyone standing in our way is dead. I want it raining blood! <laughs> they got a real fire under their ass now. <laughs> God damn it. That's why I said we needed to shut his mouth. Wouldn't matter. <sighs> These guys aren't gonna back down. Not until they've given it every last thing they've got. Shishido. Nishitani. They're old school Yakuza, all right. They put on a big show to make everyone fall in line. And just as long as all that helps them get whatever they're looking for, nothing's off limits to them. Every single Yakuza faction, they ran on guys like that. Got a lot of good use out of them. So if we really want to dissolve the Yakuza, we have no choice but to meet them head on and make sure we finish the job for good. That's the only way we're really gonna bring an end to all this. We step up, here and now. Because we're the only ones that can make it happen. Hmm. Bodyguard knows what he's talking about. These guys, they ain't gonna see it our way unless we force them to. Ain't that right, Dojima-san? <laughs> Feeling like... I'm the only one with no balls here. Don't say that. All this right here, none of it happens if not for you and Watase. Dismantling Japan's two biggest Yakuza groups. You ask me, that takes balls of steel. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well then, today, the Tojo clan goes out with a bang. Yes! What? What's up with these guys? The Dragon of Dojima. There's that good shit. Let's go! Come on, let's dance! <laughs>
Yeah! On, motherfuckers. Thought you were big man, huh? You ain't nothing. Oh, you think that gun gonna make you tough, huh? You are nothing! <laughs> oh, another gun motherfucker, huh? I'm done with you. Get out of my sight. You're a disgrace. <laughs> Kiryu-san, over there! He's headed for HQ! You bastard! Let's finish this, Kiryu! Shisho! You bitches! This ain't over yet! Get going, kill you. Leave these clowns to us. You said he was yours, right? Then go have your fun. Make sure you teach him a real good lesson. Got it. Appreciate the help. Even though we just met. <laughs> With Yakuza legends like them at my back? You always were stubborn, Kiryu chan. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I love Matthew Mercer. He's so, he did such a good job. Guy who sits the great hall in this spot right here. He's the one who runs everything. Just one word. That's all it would take to mobilize every yakuza in Japan. That's the kind of strength we're all dreaming of. I just want to point out real quick, Shishido seriously doesn't get the fact that it wouldn't matter because he would answer to the governor of Tokyo, Ryo Aoki. There would be nothing for him. Like, all like the money and power he dreams of, he wouldn't have it. He thinks he would, but he wouldn't. He doesn't understand politics. He only knows how to fight to survive. Whereas Ryuaoki was smart. He found ways to destroy them. And he hasn't figured that out yet. And sadly, he never will. That's not the world we live in anymore. I think you ought to know that well enough by now. Don't you fucking tell me what I know! Maybe none of this matters to you. You sat the Tojo throne, even if it didn't last. But some of us got no choice. If being a Yakuza is the only life you know, then this room's all you fucking have! This place? It's the dream. And without it, we're dead! The dream, huh? <laughs> Golden boy like you could never understand. You'll never know what it is you've taken from us. I get it. Uh, do you? I can erase my name. I can deny who I am. But deep down, I'm the same as you. You hear someone out there stronger. And soon, your only thought is how to defeat them. You want to prove you're unmatched? Then bask in the glory. 
that's how we're built. If that's how we're built, then why the fuck did you help tear it all down? Why would you take our goddamn dream away? That's easy. Because compared to the hopes and dreams of everyone else out there, ordinary people just struggling to get through their daily lives, our dream isn't worth a damn. <laughs> Everything sideways showing up here and raising hell. But at least I'll get to kill you myself. And once that's done, those little shits are next. You want to rattle me so bad you can taste it. But doesn't change the fact that this ends right here. No matter how many bullshit threats you throw at me. Ha! All done then? Doesn't change shit. Think I give a shit about some legendary Yakuza? All you fucks! I'll murder every one of you! Ah! Oh, and it goes right into the fight! Kose Shishido. Get up! I ain't done with you yet! Bring it. <laughs> Time's up. Take that. The dragon. Time's up. Yeah. Oh, I can keep doing it. What? I was trying to do the other one. Oh, we going for another sword, huh? How do you know it's not a display? Oh no, my Spoderman powers! Ha ha! Fuck you!
My legend ended two years ago, moron. as of today for all your kicking and screaming you couldn't stop the boss or the tojo clan we won you put up a good fight i'll give you that time to go nothing more for us here Oh, our limo driver's back. Come on, get in. I'll give you guys a lift. I brought you another change of clothes, Watase-san. Thoughtful as ever. Thanks for that. Of course. I think you'll fit. Might be a little tight, though. <laughs> Well, well, you got some guts, don't you? Trying to pull a fast one and a daidoji. Pretty slick for a two-bit thug. Personally, I'd end you right here and be done with it. But you'll make a fine agent, so you can keep your life. Oh. Really? Is he going to come back in infinite wealth then? You're going to be on a damn short leash till the day you die. But don't worry. Nishitani will be there too, so you won't be lonely. No. Who? That's worse than death. 2020. <laughs> and then COVID happened. So he stayed in the temple for four years. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> Already tired of meditating. That's a rare sight. I just couldn't free myself from worldly desires. When I told him. He gave me this. The road to enlightenment is long and arduous. Mm. We all need to take a break once in a while. Hey, his favorite brand, I'm Seven not Stars. Anyone will reach enlightenment from here. <laughs> How uncharitable. You have more work for me? No. You need some time to cool off. You barely had enough time to catch your breath after all you've done in Osaka and Yokohama. Yeah, guess so. Oh. So the legendary dragon's chosen Ichiban Kasuga as his successor. Now that I think of it, there is a resemblance. Mm -hmm. Going to jail for the crimes of others. No, wait. Isn't that what Yakuza do all the time? Yeah, but not like them. I don't think of it as some grand statement about a successor. 
But after the dissolution, I just wanted to help with the burden he had to carry, however I could. Hmm. Before you encouraged him, he was just some thug fresh out of jail. And that thug went on to stop Rio Aoki from going mad with power. The Daidoji couldn't overlook Aoki going rogue like that. Without your help, there's no way Kasuga could have done so much, don't you think? Yeah. I didn't give the kid superpowers. He was already strong enough. We just ran into each other. That's all. Still. What are you getting at? Stop beating around the bush. You came here because you needed me for something, right? No. Oh, yes. That's right. The Daijoji are offering you a reward for your services. A reward? It's been said before, but your work has proven very effective. After all, it got us 50 billion yen in assets. And, on a personal note, it also saved my life. Leaving that debt unpaid doesn't sit right. So, first of all, I'd like to show you this. You haven't seen this before, have you? It's your grave in Okinawa. Our hidden cameras filmed this. The same ones that we used to monitor the orphanage kids. This was taken on the anniversary of your death. Haruka. <gasps> Harutukun was around four at the time, huh? Growing up nicely indeed. The camera's positioned far away, so they don't know they're being watched. It's all the kids. Your last two visitors that day were Taichi-kun and Ayako-san. After a while, Ayako-san spotted the camera. She might have noticed light reflecting off the lens. Hey, Taichi. Is that a camera I'm seeing? Yep. Looks like it. And it's pointed at Uncle Kaz's grave? If it's a hidden camera, then someone's probably watching us. Does that mean... Do you think Uncle Kaz set it up? If Uncle Kaz is really still alive, then maybe he did. Yo, Uncle Kaz! So, oh, come on. What do you think you're doing? What? There's a chance he might see this, right? Huh? We got nothing to lose, so let's try. <sighs> hey, Uncle Kaz! Can you see me okay? It's Taichi. And... Ayako is here, too. <laughs> We're all doing great. Same with Haruka and Haruto. Shiro, Izumi, Koji, Mitsuo, Riona, and Eri, everybody's doing well. And plus, to be honest with you, nobody here actually believes that you're, um, dead. I'm serious. Oh, no, don't do this to me. Hey, Uncle Kaz. So, I'm a firefighter now. <laughs> when bad things happen, and people who are in trouble need help. Oh my god! I want to be the one who steps up when no one else has the courage. Oh my god! It's because I grew up watching you. <laughs> As for me, I got a job at a small office. I fought really hard to get it, and it worked out. Koji's working for a company now, too. Riona got a job in fashion. Ari wants to work with little kids. Izumi went and became an animal groomer. <laughs> she had lots of practice on Mame. Mitsuo is working all kinds of jobs. And Shiro is majoring in science. Maruto as well. <laughs> Lately, he's been a bit of a pain. Take your eyes off him for a second and he's gone. It's driving Haruka and Yuta-san crazy. 
We know. You must have a lot going on, too. Because <laughs> if you were alive, you'd definitely come see us, right? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe if you really are somewhere out there, you could send us a sign? We're all making our way just fine on our own, so it's not like we'd ask you to take care of us or anything. <laughs> oh, my God. Just, it's only that we wouldn't want for you to... Oh my god, no, don't do this to me. If you did give us a sign, we wouldn't tell anyone outside Morning Glory. And when you're ready, we'll all be waiting for you to come back. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we are. Taiji and I are finally old enough to drink too. Oh my god. I bet we'll have a fun time. We've got so much to talk about. <laughs> oh, right. We're going to come back again tomorrow. There's something we want you to have. And plus, I want Haruka and the others to say hi, too. What is it that you wanted to bring for him? More show the ride. Oh, yeah, that's great. Anyway, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, Uncle Kaz. <laughs> Unfortunately. The camera was collected by an agent soon after this video was taken. Once the kids discovered the camera, we had no other choice. <laughs> right. I understand. Oh my god. I had wondered to myself whether showing you this would really constitute a reward. <laughs> I'm still unsure. Is what he fought for! It is. I'm really grateful. You did. Oh. I am crying my eyes out, You'll guys. Call. Taiji kun said he had something he wanted to give you. On the day after the camera was retrieved, they went back, all the children of Morning Glory together, and left a small tube containing a picture. Now, clearly, we couldn't let them think that Kazuma Kiryu, a dead man, had been there to receive it. Ultimately, we decided to leave it there. But had one of our agents take a photograph of it first. Oh my god! Show, show me, show me, please! <laughs> Harutokun drew this. <laughs> That's you in the middle, isn't Uncle it? Uncle Kaz! He remembers him! This is just great. Haruto. <laughs> Will you look at that? He's four now. He can read and write already. The last time I saw him, he couldn't even... He couldn't even talk. And now he's... He's really coming along. Haruka-san, too. All of the children are. He gave up everything for them. It's true. For all making their own way just fine without me <laughs> and here I am alone I can't even tell them how much I miss them <laughs> guess guess I needed them more than they ever needed me that's not true <laughs> They needed you. That boy earlier... <clears throat> he said he wanted... to show the courage to step in and help others when no one else would, didn't he? Surely you must realize... you set that example for them. <laughs> Hearing you say that... doesn't make me feel any better. Make me feel better. I can't do a damn thing other than sit here and meditate. Uh, which reminds me. Hanua-san suggested you take some time off and travel. It's already been approved by those in charge. Your vacation has no set time limit. You're welcome to go if you're interested. Make no mistake, though. 
As far as the world knows, Kazuma Kiryu will remain a dead man. Wherever you go, whatever you do, we'll be watching. So, my training's complete then. <laughs> this temple is just for appearances, as indeed am I. Your training will be there with you no matter where you go. Yeah. It's time to move on. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I haven't cried that much in a long time. Is Hawaii going to be your first stop? No. I think I'll be saving the best for last. So, putting others before yourself again, are we? <laughs> you never change. Well, well. I see you've grown quite trusting of Kiryu-san. Trust has nothing to do with it. Distinguished performance earns a distinguished reward. You can call it meritocratic. Securing his gratitude is to our advantage. It sets a good example for the other pawns in our collection. One other thing. The dragon of Dojima is quite a fearsome ally. We would be unwise to make him an enemy. Clearly. That's why we don't want to get too involved. Hanawa-kun, he does understand his place, doesn't he? Indeed he does. Ought to be everything. Credit card, ID, all under your new name. Appreciate that. The faction approved it, so I did my job. That's all it was. Our relationship is strictly a business one, after all. It'll mean problems for both of us, if anyone thinks that you and I have become friends. Right. That'll work just fine. For us. <laughs> Joyu was too on the nose to be a fitting alias. So I took the liberty and chose Tai Chi Suzuki for you. <laughs> just so happens that a few years back, I used this exact same name. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> I don't remember telling you anything about that. Or anyone else here, for that matter. <laughs> Well, the truth is, before I became a Daidoji member, I actually had another opportunity to get to know you. Wait, really? First time I'm hearing it. Well, we really are one and the same. How's that? Because we are both men who found a new life. Men who have abandoned even their own names. <laughs> In other words, there are many more secrets you are not privy to. Well... Story of my life. Please do take care of yourself. Kill your son. See you around. Oh. Oh, that was so good. Can't stop loving you. Don't you know? 
Oh my god. Oh, this was such a good game. Oh my god. Oh man. I mean, like, yeah, this was originally planned as, like, DLC for, um, uh, Yakuza 7, but they decided to have it be its own game, and, yeah, I mean, like, I understand why. There's a lot here. I mean, like, unlike Kaito's, which was much more, you know, story-based, um, it was about the same length story-wise as Kaito's, but there was more content in this one. Plus it like filled in some of the gaps of like what Kiryu was doing and everything, so it, it, it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Like, having played all the other Yakuza games, man. Mm. God, that scene with the kids, that made me cry, man. Uh, I cried so much. Uh, I honest to God don't think I have cried that hard. Uh... Hmm. I can't remember. I mean, like, I can remember real life things, but crying in real life is different when you're crying because you're emotional because of a movie or a story. Also, I wonder who Hanawa is. I, I did take a look. Some people seem to think that he is uh, Yu Morinaga. Uh, from uh, Yakuza 4, I No, 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 Yakuza 5. He was in 5. Um, so, yeah. I... Uh, and, and, I mean, like, people point out, like, it wouldn't make sense because... Um... He like that like Kiryu was using the fake name you know that Hanwa gave him you know uh, uh, Taichi Suzuki and like that's the name he went under when like he was working with them and everything so it would make sense like they look very different like I'll post like a couple of pictures here like this is Hanwa and this is you Morinaga. Not exactly the most similar, but, you know, cosmetic surgery can do wonders. And he also said that, you know, he gave up his name and everything like that, so... Possibly. Apparently they also share the same Japanese voice actor, that's another big reason why people think that. And he did supposedly, uh, die in, uh, like, the fifth game. I don't think we ever explicitly see him die. So, it would make sense that he could be alive. Hawaii 2023. Manala Hill Memorial Church. So he got to go on vacation for three years. Wow, and he changed up his look at everything. Either that or he's going gray. Could be. Doesn't take long once your hair starts going gray for most of it to happen. And this is where Yumi said she wanted to get married. Yeah, there's gray in his beard, too, so I'm guessing that he's just getting older.
Yumi. Yeah. Ah. Uh, to be continued. Yup. In infinite wealth. The man who erased his name. That was pretty awesome. Gotta admit. Special trial version can now be played. Nah. I wanna wait. I wanna wait till I actually... Because I already own the game, you know. I'm not sure if I installed it yet. And I'm gonna need to because that is what we're gonna be playing next. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Ah, oh, I'm curious to know if Shishido or Nishitani will, like, return in... Uh, infinite wealth. I have no idea, and I'm super excited to find out. Oh my god, it's so good. Huh. I wonder if you get anything for playing the special trial version. I'm not sure I want to, but I mean, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But either way, thanks again, everybody. And as always, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe it if you're not already, ring the bell for all them notifications is. And until we play Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. Hey there! If you enjoyed this video, why don't you consider subscribing to my Patreon so I can keep making awesome videos like the one you just saw. The link will be in the description below, and as always, have yourselves a beautiful, beautiful day.